Hi friends, a very warm welcome to my channel. This video is the next one in the series of stock market wisdom. In this video, I've tried to answer a question in everybody's minds. There are a lot of people contacting me since the market are at all time high. Should I book profit? Should I take away some money? So through this video, I'm trying to answer that question for everybody. And I'm sure at the end of this video, you would be able to take a wise decision whether you should be booking profits, you should not be booking profits or you should be booking partial profits from your portfolio. So if you're new to the channel, please do subscribe and you can join our free telegram channel as well. Let's get started. So just because the market is at all time high, that doesn't mean that you have to book profits. So keep this thought out of your mind. So every few months when you see that the market is making new high in the recent couple of years, you keep getting this thought in your mind whether you should be taking away some profits out of your portfolio and you fear that that profits might be lost. So first let us be clear that just because the market is at all time high, you should not be booking profits. The second thing you should keep in mind is you should have a stock specific approach. You can't expect a general answer that you should be taking away the profits from the stocks. This depends on case to case whether the stock is overvalued or undervalued, how is the sector performing. So based on each stock, you have to take a decision. So even if you have to book profits, it is not that you can take away the profits, uh, a portion of the profits from all the stocks in your portfolio. You have to see which stock is ripe enough and which has performed very well and now it is overvalued. So keeping that stock specific approach in mind, you should be taking away some profits if at all you have to. You should also see whether you are 100% invested or there is still cash lying to be invested. So if at all you still have cash with you which is to be invested then it doesn't make sense for you to book profits from the already existing portfolio because still you are looking for newer opportunities to increase your investments. Do you foresee a market crash? Normally biggest of the investors of the world have clearly said that they cannot time the market or they cannot foresee any market crash. But if at all you are a genius and if you foresee the market crash and you are quite sure about something which is going to happen, then obviously you can go ahead and book pull or partial profits. Another factor which you have to consider is your risk profile, whether you are an aggressive investor or you are a defensive investor or conservative investor. If you are an aggressive investor and you would like to hold stocks for a very long time and make multi-bagger returns, then you should not uh, hurry up in booking profits. If you are a conservative investor, if you are happy with uh, getting decent returns, which is more than returns from the fixed income securities, then it is safe and uh, wise on your part to keep taking away some profits from your portfolio on regular intervals. So depending on your risk profile, you also have to decide what is your expected returns from the market. So if you are somebody who is expecting very high returns multiple times your investment, then you need to have more patience and more control over your emotions to hold the stocks for a very long time. If at all you have a plan just because the market is at all time high and that there's a, there are thoughts coming to your mind that I will try to time the market, let me book some profits and I'll buy the same stocks at the lower prices, then this is not the right strategy. I'm not saying that you may not succeed. You may succeed a few times, two, three times, four times, but ultimately there are high chances that you lose the portfolio stock and you will not get an opportunity to enter it again. Normally, there is human mentality that once you buy something at some X price, we become very reluctant to buy the same thing at a higher price. So by trying to time the market, by selling things and trying to buy at the bottom or at a lower price than your uh, original, uh, your sale price, you may lose a very valuable stock in your portfolio. So just because you want to buy things at a lower level or average your cost or reduce your cost, this strategy sh should not be applied when the market is at all time high. Most of the wealth creators, if you observe the biggest of the investors in India as well as globally, they have made such portfolios and re returns only because they kept holding the stocks for a very long time. As important it is to choose the right stocks, it is equally important to hold the right stocks for the longest period of time possible as per your decision. So this is a brief introduction. Now, if at all uh, you have to book profits, in what circumstances you can book profits, we will discuss five scenarios in the coming slides. The first one is if you have any low quality stocks in your portfolio, you can consider booking profits from those uh, low quality stocks. You can exit those stocks and shift that money to good quality ones. Because if at all the market falls, the stocks which are fundamentally weak fall more than the stocks which are fundamentally strong. So there may be various reasons why you might have bought these stocks because some friend or somebody, your broker might have given you a 
hip about it or just because uh, it's a bull run and you feel that sector is doing well or you might have read in some news so due to any reason you might have purchased it and now you are at uh, a decent return you can consider booking profits from those low quality stocks and shift that money to better quality ones now one other thing is in low quality stocks generally those are ones where volume is also less so technicals also don't work for such kind of stocks so even that you have to keep in mind the second scenario you have you can consider booking profits if at all you want to is even if a strong is uh, even if a stock is fundamentally strong you can consider booking partial profits if the stock is excessively overvalued let's say the median pe of a stock in the last 5 years has been 20 and normally that stock is also the sector itself is given an average pe pe of 20 25 but that stock has given a very big run up and the stock is excessively valued and now trading at a pe of let's say 80 to 100 so in such scenarios even though the stock is fundamentally strong you can do some partial profit booking out of that and then you can consider adding the same stock when the revaluations become more reasonable in future now if you heard me right i have told you that when the valuations become reasonable i'm not talking about the price here in future when the company's stock performs well when the results are better due to the growth in eps if the valuations become reasonable at that time you can consider adding back the quantity which you have exited because of the excessive valuations now you may get a doubt that if at all you are not getting an opportunity to re-enter the same stock in future what you can do then you can consider adding some other stock in the same industry to balance your sectoral allocation in your portfolio the next one is you have to see whether you are an aggressive investor or a conservative in investor suppose you are a conservative investor you are happy with the decent returns of let's say about 12 percent uh, uh, on a CAGR basis then you can consider booking partial profits every now and then whenever the market is at all time high because you are quite contented and satisfied even if you are getting more returns than your fixed income securities so, so investors like this they generally don't uh, focus or they generally don't expect multiple returns from their stocks for as a portfolio if they are getting decent returns they are happy and in such cases uh, such investors can consider uh, partial profit booking even uh, every time the market makes a new all-time high the next scenario could be that your portfolio needs some rebalancing if at all you have entered some sector which uh, you have given excessive valuation normally uh, if you give about 20 to 25 uh, percent allocation to a sector it is more than enough you should avoid giving more uh, allocation from your portfolio to a single sector but if at all you have given more allocation in the bull run or if the sector has performed very well and that now becomes let's say about 50 60 percent of uh, allocation in your portfolio you can consider uh, selling a few uh, quantity of stocks in that particular sector to rebalance your portfolio reduce the weightage of that sector and invest that in other sectors to have a more diversified portfolio another uh, way of rebalancing could be through the small mid and large caps let's say you have a lot of small cap stocks in your portfolio and just because of the bull run they have done pretty well and you have made handsome profits now you are skeptical whether uh, the small caps and mid caps may or may not perform going further after the bull run ends so in such cases to be uh, on a safer side you can consider partial profit booking from the small and mid caps and shift that money to good quality large cap stocks so by this way you can uh, book some profits have some satisfaction of booking profits as well as give some safety to your portfolio as the large caps will fall lesser when the market corrects so whenever uh, such portfolio rebalancing is done you can consider booking partial profits and balance your portfolio another scenario for booking some profits could be that you have found another stock or another opportunity of investment in the market which you have a very strong conviction that it can do well and you still you don't have money to invest in that because you are 100 percent invested so from your uh, existing portfolio stocks if at all you feel that some stocks may not grow as uh, faster as the new opportunity from that you can gradually keep on booking some partial profits and shift that money to the new opportunity opportunity which uh, you have identified so in these five scenarios you can consider uh, booking partial profits but other than these five scenarios just for the sake of profit booking you should avoid doing it even if the market is at all time high so to summarize just don't panic just because the market is at all time high or there are fluctuations because long term investors create wealth by sticking on to the 
stock for a very long time and don't just sell for the sake of it or don't try to time the market have a stock specific approach understand your risk profile understand what are your expectations from the market how much returns are you expecting what type of investor you are have control over your emotions just because of there are uh, there is volatility in the market don't get disturbed if you are getting disturbed don't watch the market on that day don't keep shuffling your portfolio and keep disturbing it so remember one thing that you have to be an optimist even if the market falls if there are fluctuations you have to be optimistic about india's growth and have confidence in the companies in which you are investing in only then you will be able to create a very good wealth in the long term i hope this answers your question whether you should be booking profits in the all time high market range now which we are in and if you like the video hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and if you have more questions like this you can leave those questions in the comments below i'll try to create a video answering those questions so thank you for watching this video and have a wonderful day